hello friends welcome to my channel please subscribe to our channel if you have already not subscribed to it so as part of this video we are going to discuss what is RDD in Spark so RDD is a in-memory data structure in Spark it's a distributed data structure when I say distributed data structure I mean to say that uh, it represents the data which is sitting in multiple machines so it's a uh, so you can think that you have a huge file and uh, you know that file you have divided into multiple parts so here you can see right so this box blue box that you are able to see is a file and this file is divided into multiple parts partition 1 partition 2 partition 3 partition 4 so these parts are sitting on different machines like partition 1 and partition 2 are on machine 1 partition 3 is on machine 2 and partition 4 is on machine 3 so so all this uh, this file is divided into multiple parts so uh, that's what uh, uh, we mean from distributed that there is a file which is divided into multiple parts and all those multiple parts are on different machines and RDD is a data structure which represents that file so it is resilient uh, when I say resilient I mean to say that uh, you can always recreate a RDD from the set of operations that were applied to it if you don't understand the resilient part please ignore it I am going to explain it in detail in next set of videos you can ignore it for now uh, just think about resilient as a as a terminology where you can where you can think of RDD as a as a fault tolerant data structure and if there is uh, a failure of any machine you can recreate the data so it is fault tolerant that's what it means from resilient uh, it's a distributed data structure we all uh, we have already explained it that uh, there are multiple parts of RDD and those parts are sitting on different machines it is immutable I, when I say immutable I mean to say that uh, if you have created a RDD you cannot make any changes in that RDD you have to create a if you want to do operation you can do that operation and store it in a new RDD you will be producing a new RDD once you apply a operation on a existing RDD you cannot do a data change or any kind of change in existing RDD that's what it means from immutable uh, data set it's a data set you I, when, when I say data set I mean to say that it is storing lot of rows it is a collection of rows and that's what I mean from data set I hope the RDD concept is clear to you uh, this was a basic de definition of RDD uh, in, in my next video I'm going to cover you know how we can create RDDs and how what are the kind of operations that we can do on RDDs Thank you for watching this video.